One of the most important things in order to run Glygen is the PAR file. This tutorial is going to describe to you what the PAR file is and how it is used to generate a Glygen file. I'm showing two files on the screen right now. On the left is the parameters manual that I showed you earlier. On the right is an example PAR file from Tokat Turkey. You can use the parameter manual on the left to learn about any of the individual entries or lines in the PAR file on the right. You can see, for example, line two has latitude, longitude, and the station years of record, and the type of storm. So you can see latitude, longitude, the years, and the type of storm. So for each one of these on the right, there is a corresponding item on the left to learn about it. Not only is it provided what that value is, but also the format that that value needs to be in in order for the Clygen program to be able to read it and understand it. Within this file, you're going to notice that there are many different parameters, some related to precipitation, some related to temperature, solar radiation, some related to precipitation characteristics like MX.5P, time to peak, the dew point temperature, and then a lot of different parameters regarding the wind. MX.5P is going to determine essentially the intensity at which the precipitation is going to be simulated in the Clygen file. The probabilities will determine how many wet days and dry days there are in any given month. Clygen is going to use the parameter file or the PAR file to constrain its random sampling of values for its climate output file. For example, the mean, standard deviation, and skew parameters are going to form the distribution from which Clygen will draw random precipitation values. It's going to use the Markov chain probabilities of wet days and dry days to determine when it should draw a value for precipitation. This is just a simple example of how Collagen is going to use these values and why they're very important to have right 